Hey, what's up? This is MarketAlchemist.Camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we're going to continue our simple live view app. And what we're going to do is take this currently working app where we've got uh, podcast listings, we've got uh, just this throwaway route with uh, uh, keyboard press detection, and we've got uh, some live views with users so that we can say edit a user, make a change that's not valid. We'll get that update right away. We'll get the uh, warning from the database back right away. Or if, if it's something where it's just a bad format, actually this was a bad format. If we were making a new user that had the same email address, we would do a round trip to the database and find out that that was not allowed. So what we're going to do is take this working app and upgrade it from live view 0.8.1 to 0.12.1 and there are quite a few breaking changes so let's get started here we'll go to actually first we'll bump up the font size so you can see what i'm doing and then we'll go to the mix file and upgrade live view so mix.exs uh, that is not correct. Let's, let me just close out all of these. Mix study excess. We'll update live view from 0.8.1 to 0.12.1. Then we need to run mix depths.get to get the new version. And immediately we'll have things broken. I'm going to start at the foo route just because that's the simpler one iex s mix phoenix.server once this starts up we'll see that we're no longer getting keyboard presses and not only that but the styles from the page are gone as well that's because of a change in 0 0.9 i believe that changed the layout so we need to go to app.html.eex and we need to break this into three files we're going to have uh, root.html.eex, which will have most of what this app.html.exx has, and then we'll have an app, and we'll have a live.html.eex that uh, just have this main section, and there's going to be a different version for each of them. So first thing we'll do is just copy this entire thing and make a new file, root.html.eex, paste it in here, then we'll replace this entire main section with just one tag, and that's going to be inner content. Inner content, like so. And in app.html.eex, we'll only have the main content. So we'll delete all of that, and we'll get rid of these extra lines, and then we'll tab everything back to where it should be. All right save that exactly as is and then we'll copy this part again to live.html.ex and we're going to make a couple changes here instead of get flash we're going to have live flash so live flash live flash and instead of con this is going to be flash and this is going to be flash and instead of info, this one is called notice now. And none of the rest has to change. May not need all these CSS classes, but just leave that as is for now. So we've got the root HTML.eex, which is the entry point. Then it calls to inner content. And this will be filled in with either app.html.eex for traditional routes or live.html.eex for our live routes. We we'll go to our router. Actually, we'll bump the font size up a little bit more. So then on this foo route, we'll give it a layout like this. So it'll be reactorweb.layoutview and root to pass in the uh, root.html.exx that we just made. And we'll save that. And actually, we're going to need the exact same thing on user. So I'll just add that right now. And we'll restart the server. And now we've got our styles back. And we're still not getting any keyboard presses recorded. 
So we'll open the dev tools and we'll see that we've got a problem because this dep can no longer be resolved. That's in our uh, CSS file. So we'll go to app.scss and you see this deps phoenix live view asset css live view .css. this no longer exists so we're going to delete this this was being used for showing the uh, the blue progress update bar across the top the way we can get this now is with a separate uh, separate install so let's stop the server again we'll go into assets and then yarn add n progress we should get version uh, I believe 0 0.2 or something. Let me check. Yeah, 0 0.2.0. That'll work. And then run yarn to make sure we've... Okay, we've already got everything. And instead of importing uh, from Live View, we have to import our new plugin. So we'll do import dot dot slash node modules slash n progress. There we go. Slash n progress dot CSS. And add a semicolon because I've got that required. Okay, then we should be able to start up the server again and get everything running without that error. And we have key presses being recognized. Excellent. Now, okay, I'm just testing the F keys. All right, so we're pretty much set here, although I did see there's an upcoming change in. So this is a live view change log, and you can find it just by Googling Phoenix live view change log. We can see that version 0 0.13, these events will no longer be sent by default, which is fine. You can specify them on your own for a new app, but to maintain backwards compatible behavior, which I want to do, we'll need this. So just copy this into our app.js, and instead of this really short uh, live socket declaration will add in all of this metadata after the params. So just paste this in, save that, and we should be good even for the next version of Live View. So long as that's, I think that's the only breaking change in 0 0.13. So this part is good. We can go to users, and we should still have the functionality that we did before. Yep, that looks good. That can be empty, but it can't be malformed. Okay. Oh, and one other thing, let's try going directly to a route. Users one, we're not getting a layout anymore. And that's because we're not putting the layout. So we need to actually include this put layout on all of them. That's it, we're upgraded. Next episode, we'll build out the comments. And once the comments are done, I'm going to deploy this app then move on to the series on Absinthe. That's it for today. See you next time.